So today I'll be reviewing some of the microscopes we have for testing in the clinic. Uh, I'll first start with the Optomic. Uh, the company provides uh, a Spanish microscope uh, with some goods and bads, some uh, positive aspects and some, some negative aspects. First, the body itself is built with a built-in screen, which I think is not a very good idea because the screen keeps on tangling with the rest of the equipment we have on, uh, on the clinic. Uh, however, it's a good advantage if you don't have a screen built in in your uh, clinic that you attach your uh, microscopes to. Uh, the second thing that comes with the microscope is uh, uh, the LED power source. And it's uh, on the outside of the microscope. You can see the controls from this aspect. Uh, and you notice that the, the touches of the power itself are sort of uh, a touch-like button. You have the options for the filters in here. You have the option for the light intensity itself on this side. The company says the, the, the microscope provides 100,000 uh, lux as light intensity, uh, which I think provides very good and clear uh, optics. Now, uh, the good aspect about this microscope is that it feels uh, well built. Uh, you kind of feel the European finish of everything. Everything is well polished. This is all metal. The joints are all metal also. Uh, and you notice that even the transition of the lens itself sounds and feels uh, very accurate. However, the, the negative sides on this microscope are a couple of negative sides. First, uh, the, the IPD control is really a manual control, so you control that with both your hands, and it, should, it shouldn't come on, on this line of microscopes that you, that you get manual controls for the IPD. The second thing that is, is really annoying is the ergonomics of the microscope. So if you want to move the microscope, you get a really uh, heavy um, connection for movement, you either release that so it becomes really uh, very uh, smooth and flowy or you keep it held and then it's, it's really difficult to move around. And you get a very basic hinge movement with uh, knobs for controlling the, the, the kind of movement you can get. Uh, I really felt that this is not easy to get by, it's not easy to control all around. The handles are also uh, sort of coming in the way of your movement. I would recommend that the, the, I would have preferred the hands coming out on, on both sides. Uh, another thing is that the microscope comes only with uh, fixed lenses, prime lenses, no variable focus lenses. Um, I would say it, it gives a very good clarity, a very high light intensity, as you notice. However, the lack of value dist or um, an objective that changes in the working distance is really a negative side. Another negative side would be the ergonomics and the movement. Uh, one last uh, feedback about the microscope is that it came with a connection for the Sony Alpha camera, but then when connecting the camera, really the quality of the image that came out wasn't good. I guess something is uh, uh, not at its best uh, on the level of the beam splitter or the adapter of the microscope itself. Uh, overall, uh, slightly overpriced for the, the equipment and the, the package it provides, at least in the Middle Eastern market. Um, however, good quality, well built, a very high light intensity, I guess the highest among what we are trying today. Uh, very clear op optics, uh, really quite good uh, objectives. Uh, relatively poor ergonomics and uh, sort of uh, thin, uh, uh, slightly weak build. Uh, not the best aesthetic option if you're looking at aesthetics and uh, sort of uh, mechanically blunt, uh, not really aesthetically nice. So that's for the optomic.